future is whatever you make it. So make it a good one. Both of you. We will, Doc. Stand back. Great stop, man. That's real heavy, dude. Hey guys, T Dragon here. And you know what it's time for? Time to boot skeet your boogies. <laughs> yeah! Power to duty, boy. Gotta get that lesson done. Alright, today. Alright, today. I wanna talk to you about an ongoing issue that I find it's very annoying to me. It's irritating, really. The fact is, cowboys are losing their touch. Speaking of that, damn, damn truth right there. Look, I just heard about this new movie coming out. It's called Cowboys and Aliens, and it's just so wrong. I mean, you just don't put those two together. It doesn't make sense at all. If the aliens wanted to come when cowboys existed, they would have done it already. So it doesn't make sense. We're in, what, the 20th century, and it was like back in the 1800s. Yeah, wait, 1800s, I think. Getting that howdy doody on. Cowboys and aliens. It seems like some uh, Indiana Jones man goes back to the ancient times with the cowboys. Turn around and start walking. I said, turn around and start walking. He gets some alien little gauntlet going. <laughs> And then he gets attacked by some aliens, and the cowboys and aliens fight. You give him to me now, or I'm gonna take him. And the obvious answer, who's gonna win, is neither of them. Because, you know, aliens come from outer space and they can't breathe oxygen. And humans, we just, you know... We just get blown to bits because, you know, all we have are pistols and little cowboy boots. And, you know, these boots are durable. Well, they're, they're not that durable. They're only good for, you know, knocking that manure around, going to the, doing the good household duties of milking your cows, soaking your chickens, getting them good eggs. And, you know, with the festivities with all the sheep and stuff, it's good to kick around and knock over them wolves trying to steal your sheep. A big issue I find is that cowboys these days just don't have enough movies coming out. It's the Wild Wild West is gone with Will Smith. I mean, I miss that type of stuff. It's just, it makes me feel so empty inside because I feel like I'm an old western. But I'm lost because all I find are these new movies with some type of robotic transformation like this Transformer movies going on. I don't even know anything about. I don't even know anything about Transformers, it doesn't make sense. It seems like it has to do with this guy called Shia LaBeouf. And Shia LaBeouf is a shy LaBeouf. And you know, that's just not right. Maybe if they made him a cowboy in the old Wild Wild West with Marty McFly where well, it makes sense. Cause you know, Marty McFly. Great Scott. I know, this is heavy. And then you add the Great Scott. Great Scott! Great Scott! And then you add the heavy man. Whoa, this is heavy. And then Shy Lil Buff. Babes in Toyland team movie? It just fits in perfectly. If it's not Back to the Future, it's just not right. Because the way Back to the Future did it, they did it right. But the way Cowboys and Aliens did it, it's all it's just all wrong. You know, it's like it's like the way your grandma would tell you to do it. Shut up, fool! Hey you guys like my new glasses? Got them from the old Western view. Too bad they're not as good as my Digimon goggles, but they're just right. It's just because I can see 2020 with these babies. It's not like your regular Camaro. It's more like your Torino. Yeah, that's right. I know how to drive those good doodle dingies. I do like Back to the Future though. It's really nice because I felt like whenever they made that movie in the 1980s, it was perfect. 
It has the good vibe. It has the good women. Finally, it has the great cowboys. And every movie should have just some good cowboys. But as you can see in modern times, that's just not happening. They don't have the same guns, because as you can obviously from Cowboys and Aliens, that Indiana Jones guy got some type of gauntlet of doom. Look at this hat right here. As you can tell, this is the new robotic age of, you know, all that dumb old... Duh, uh, oh man, I had too much sex text to like, man. Oh. You can see, this is like Transformers, but it's like Michael Bay. And as you see right here, this is like a Shogun Warrior, you know? Like a Samurai, uh... Cowboys! And you know what's that? That's like... That's like the last Samurai for Tom Cruise. It's just... You know what? Tom Cruise is just perfect for a cowboy role. I mean... So I was walking out this morning. Got me this good, nice looking calf on the side. She has some nice little udders. Got the milk bucket. Started milking. <laughs> In conclusion, now that we're done scoots, boogies, and dancing it, I just don't think cowboys are the way they used to be. I mean, mama knows I haven't seen any cows anywhere for about 10 years of my life. Other than like on the farm, but you know, that doesn't count. Grandma knows she hasn't seen any old western shootouts in like 50 years. Or you know, maybe maybe 200 years. I don't know, my grandma's pretty old. She's also from China. But going on with them Yakuza, Mitsubishi, Toyota. Cowboys aren't the way they used to be. And adding aliens to the mix won't fix that problem, but it will add some spice. So props to Cowboys vs. Aliens. I'm a watch it, boy! Wow, yeah! Yeah! Olivia Munn! Fun fact statistics show that if you own a four wheeler, you're likely to be killed on it. And you're welcome, Internet. Cowboys are losing their touch. I don't know why I give uh